Hi everyone. Uh, in a previous section, we have discussed like how to create listing manually. Now I'm going to teach you how you can create listing from flat file. Okay, this can be other way of uh, creating your listing. Okay, again we need to go in this option catalog, then add products. Okay. Now uh, in the previous section, in the previous section, uh, we had selected this this option now but now i'm going to select this one i'm uploading a file to add multiple products uh, keeping in mind it can be some it can be a one listing or it can be uh, two listings uh, it can be bundle of listing so if you are going to list so um, you 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 know that uh, if you go with multiple listings it's a time consuming process but uh, uh, so we cannot um, list them manually so it's a good way to choose this way uh, through listing your menu through menu for through flat file it is also called it's, it's also called inventory file so it's a good way uh, to to list in a bulk okay there are some three different options download upload and monitor status of your inventory file okay now uh, currently we need to download an inventory file okay in the same way like we have discussed before, uh, you need to choose your listing category. I'm going to again use uh, same category, sports and outdoor, fitness and exercise and fitness. And now I'm going to choose select this one. Okay, now you are going to just download your template and download your, uh, your flat file. Now it's downloading. I'm going to add details in that Excel file. It is just a kind of Excel file, and uh, you all are already familiar with the Excel file, so there's nothing to worry about that. But it is but basically there are some examples uh, how you can add your product, but it's started, and they have uh, given you some examples here, some definitions, template, pro data. These are some different tabs here so we are we will be working on this uh, tab which is template okay first thing first uh, they are asking for product type okay uh, by default uh, there will be some uh, some values some uh, sub node of your category so you need to select that each category each category will have some different product type here I'm going to add some SLR SKU, this, uh, which is stock keeping unit. I'm going to add some random new, okay, just today I'm going to add a jumping rope. No brand name. Product ID, it, it would be your UPC or AC or GDIN, whichever you are using, you, you need to select her again. Now I'm going to add product name. I'm going to add some with my brand name, jumping rope. Okay, in the manufacturer column, you can add the same brand name if you if you don't know what's your uh, if you don't know what's your manufacturer name, you can simply use that your brand name again, and you can simply add it here. Now here you need to select the item type keyword uh, from the drop down drop down menu. You can use select that option. If your product has expired date, you can choose that. No, my product has not some expired date. You need to add some main image URL. If you have, it's good. If you don't have, you can add it later. There are some websites who are offering the services of uh, changing your image URL, uh, changing your image into some, some kind of URL. So you can just Google that to know what these websites are. Okay, now I have to use here this section. As I'm going with uh, for the first time, so I have uh, three different options. 
uh, but I'm going to list my product uh, very first time. So I'm going to use this option. This is update. It will just list my product from scratch. But uh, if you are some, if you are updating something in your, uh, if you send your account in your product details, like title changing, like a bullet points change, you can simply then use this option which is partial update and the third one is for delete but right now i'm going for update okay it's pretty simple and cool just save this file okay now you have to again go to the server central now just uh, open this tab upload your inventory file here you have to choose your file precisely. What is that? Okay, now this was my file. And there are some different file tabs. Uh, whichever suits you, you can select that. But in my case, it is non Amazon inventory file. And the file uh, format is already recommended, which is Excel one. So I'm going to use that one. Okay, upload is the simple way. After upload, you can simply monitor your product status, your inventory file status in this third tab. Uh, and they will show you after 15 or 30 minutes uh, what will be your status. So if you if they are um, good to go, there will be nothing to there will be nothing mentioned here under the action tab. But if there is something that you need to work on in some tabs, so, so you can simply, simply download your processing report where Amazon will tell you what you need to do again. Or simply you can click on complete, complete drafts so you can know uh, what changes Amazon is requiring from you. Again, then, again, then after some time, uh, 30 minutes is the time, you can refresh your page and go into the manage inventory so that you can see your active list here. Okay. Thank you all for from my this was all from my side. Keep watching and keep learning.